Good morning, you guys. It is time for your health check. And today is known as Blue Monday. I hate to say this, the most depressing day of the year. And the reason why is because typically people have been all excited and joyous around the holidays. And so they don't really have anything to look forward to. It's also around the time when people let go of those New Year's resolutions. And uh, look, we know that certainly as adults, this past year, 2020, has been incredibly difficult. But uh, also difficult, equally perhaps, uh, for children. So I want to bring in Mark this morning because, uh, Mark, you spoke with the mental health experts about the impact of uh, really all of 2020, this an all-encompassing experience for kids. <laughs> all-encompassing is uh, certainly the right way to phrase it. Uh, we know because of COVID that parents and educators have spent a lot of time focused on kids and their mental well-being this past year, and it's important to continue <laughs> to keep that front of mind because experts say the pandemic, that's not the only thing that has okay. been affecting today's My kids. Dear. They are cautioning that oh, we just wrapped up a contentious election season, one that dragged on for months after it was over, and even the recent riot at the Capitol, it's taken a toll not just on the adults, but on kids as well. So Teach for America's Lauren Weisberger says that in times like these, extra stressors can act as multipliers and our kids see more than we realize. I think just families are struggling so much as right now in general. Like just through the pandemic alone, they're struggling. So you're adding any other type of stressor on top of that, and it's really pushing families and children over the edge. And again, kids are sensing that at home. Kids can tell when their parents are stressed, and kids definitely feed off of that energy. It's easy now that we are more than 10 months into COVID to think that kids have adjusted to this new normal in a lot of ways they have, but Weisberger reminds parents not to let their guard down. She says the best tool for adults to help kids cope in a stressful world is easy. It's simply talking, communicating about how everybody is feeling, and it doesn't just help the kids, but it helps mom and dad as well. Talking about your own emotions with kids is really important uh, and talking a lot about when you're feeling anxious or when you're feeling sad. I think that just really lets kids know that there's a space for them to be doing the same and it kind of normalizes it more. Iceberger says being intentional about having a simple daily check in conversation is a great way to keep excessive stress at bay and that those healthy habits can last a lifetime. And I know, Sonia, one of the issues is you, you, you do it for a month, you check in with the kids, you think, good, we're great. No, th this continues and it's a, a daily habit. And I think, again, we think it's just COVID that's affecting kids, uh, but really all the things that affect mom and dad, it trickles down to those kids as well. Yeah, and I'm gonna take this a step further and say, in, in addition to doing a check-in with your children, you need to really do a check-in with yourself. And if you have a spouse, with your spouse, because uh, they're mirroring your behaviors, your habits, your actions, and your omissions. So I think that if you're wondering why your kids are anxious and stressed, take a good hard look at yourself with radical honesty and decide whether or not you need talk therapy or a different kind of therapy to process some of this stuff for yourself. So um, Mark, thank you so much for that. I think that's a really good reminder for all those parents out there. Yeah, helpful for sure.